These motivational motion graphic videos get hundreds of thousands of views on social media. So in this video, I'll show you a super easy way you can create these types of motion graphics with no skills whatsoever. I'll show you the complete process from how to get the video ideas to how to actually create those videos. I'll show you a simple version and a more advanced version. So the first thing you need to do is find ideas for your post. In order to do this, you can go about doing this in two different ways. So the first way would be coming on over to ChatGPT and simply asking this prompt. Give me 10 quotes ideas to make into motion graphics and the simple items I could use in the design and then hit enter. So now as you can see, it's gone ahead to give me some good ideas I could use. For example, this one, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And it says in this, you could use butterflies or birds flying towards the sunrise or a bright future skyline to depict belief in dreams. So that would be what you could use in the actual motion graphics portion of the quotes. Now, if you want to be a bit more specific in the type of quotes you do want, because all all of these are pretty general you can go ahead to ask a prompt like this give me five you insert the niche or style of quotes you want so for example like hard working quotes ideas to make into motion graphics and the simple items i could use in the design and hit enter as you can see it's given us five different options take a look at the first one hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard and then it says use a racing track with hurdles or marathon course with the runner surpassing others and it give you pretty much an example of what you can use in your design you don't have to use this but this this just gives you some ideas to work with so you don't have a blank canvas when it's time to actually create the graphics now the second way you can go about getting ideas for your motion graphics is simply by coming on over to google and then searching for the type of quotes you'd want so for example i want to get results from many mindset motivational quotes i'll simply search that and hit enter click to where it says images and now i could just scroll through and see all the different quotes that i could potentially use in my own motion graphic so for example something like this which says don't let money run your life let money help you run your life better something like this is great and i could decide hey i want to make a motion graphic about this it's that easy to get ideas now once you've found a couple ideas that you want to work with you want to write them down because the next thing you would need to do is actually create these motion graphics in order to do this you want to come on over to canva you could find the link for canva in the description then once on canva you want to come on over to this text box and then you want to do a search for instagram or reel and then you want to select this one now note well you saw it had the size 1920 by 1080 that's exactly what you want this is the size for all short form content that includes reels tiktok and youtube shots so this one would work for all of them but once you have this done what you'd want to do from there is actually create a simple post so the first thing you'd want to do is actually input the text from the quote you decided to use so i'm going to be using this one and then you want to take that text and input it into canva in order to do this i'll simply click where it says text click heading and then i'm going to increase the sizing of this delete this and paste in the exact same text that that's on the quote that I'm using as inspiration. And now from here, once your text is in, you want to go ahead to use the settings above to edit it to look how you'd want it to look. So you could change the font style, the sizing, the color, and you could even italize it or bold it if you'd want to. So now as you can see, all I did was change the font to Avenir. The next thing you'd want to do is change the background color. Most of these motion graphics tend to have a dark background. So I'll go ahead to change the background to black. And then I'm going to click onto the text because now I can't see it. I'm going to click onto this text color option at the top here and select white so now from here i need to break up this text so that it could actually be a motion graphic i would need to actually have different scenes so in order to do this i'll simply click onto this page and hit duplicate page so now i have two of these pages from here what i'd want to do is think about how i want my motion graphic to look and then begin editing it a little better so what i mean by that is for this first section i'll go ahead to take out this part of the text and then only keep this part in here so that would be like the first part of the motion graphic and then i could decrease the sizing of this and readjust it. and now i'm going to go over to the other section and then i'm going to take out this part that we just kept and then i'm going to go ahead to now make it the same size as this one so this is 77.6 i could click here and then adjust the size as well as its position so now if we take a look at it this is already starting to look pretty cool so now from here what we need to do is put in the motion graphics which is supposed to be the complicated part this is where i show you that it's actually really easy what you'd want to do is think of what exactly it is that you would want in your video so in my case i know i want something to do with money so what i'm going to do is come on over to where it says elements and then i'm going to go ahead to do a search for person chasing money and hit enter but from here here's the trick what you want to do is click onto this filter option and then what you want to do is scroll down to where you see animation and click animated and now from here you want to click onto where it says graphics and then you could look at the different options until you find one that 
you like. And remember, if you can't find one that you like, you could always try searching for different things until you find something that fits your scenario better. So I'm going to go ahead to click this one for the first one. And now as you could see, it's now added into my reel. I could adjust it and maybe center it, better position it. And now for the second one, now that I've searched lots of money, I could scroll through and see which one I like. So I like this one, simply click onto it, add it in, and I could do the same thing, adjust its positioning. So now if we take a look at both of these, we now have two different animated motion graphic posts, but leaving them just like that is a bit too simple. From here, what you'd want to do, you want to add in some more elements, effects, text effects, highlights to make this seem better and more engaging. So what I mean by that, you could do something like this. I could go ahead to now emphasize on what the text is saying. Don't let money run your life. So I could maybe go ahead to bold this part and then I could maybe even change the color of it if I wanted to. So for example, red and go to the second one. Now I could bold the word better and then maybe change this one to red. And now I can go ahead to adjust the sizing of this one and I could do the same thing for this other one so that the sizing could be a little bit more equal for both of them. So now we have it coming together a bit better. It's still pretty plain. So what I'd want to do from here is maybe add in a bit of a gradient to the back. So I could go ahead to do a search for gradients, remove the settings because I'm only seeing animated options. So click the same three dots and click clear all. And now I could maybe find one that might match my scene. So then I could go ahead to adjust the sizing of it, the positioning. And now that it's been added in, let's go ahead to send it to the back by clicking on the three dots that says more the layer and then center back then i could go ahead to copy it and then add it onto the second one as well paste it in and do the same thing click onto the three dots the layer and then center back it seems a bit bright so we could reduce the transparency if we wanted and now this is already looking way better from here we can go ahead to add maybe for example a little bit more texture to it so let's go ahead to search something like texture in elements and then click where it says graphics and now we can see all the different textures and we could choose one of them to add to the post so for example this one we can go ahead to expand it so that it fits the scene then we can go ahead to adjust the layering of it so send it to back and then if i wanted to i could change the color of it and that gives the post a little bit extra texture so now i'll go ahead to copy the texture come on to the other one and then paste it in here and do the same thing then once you've edited your post enough typically from here what you want to do is add the at name of your instagram page so what you'd want to do is click where it says text click again where it says add a heading and then you can go ahead just add your instagram page's name and then change the color to white so it's visible then i'm simply going to put it at the bottom i'll be sure to center it and align it so that it's on my page then i can go ahead to copy this go to the next scene and paste it in so now let's take a look at what this looks like don't let money run your life let money help you run your life better so easy and so good and that barely took me any time to make this now i'll show you how you can create an even more advanced motion graphic that gives you the opportunity to be even more creative so i could show you right here and right now there's no excuse and no limit to what you can actually create with this so for this one the quote i'll be using is this each day is a new opportunity to improve yourself take it and make the most of it so using this quote the first thing i'd want to do is same as before i'd want to insert my text and then from here you want to do the same thing as before edit the text so i'll go ahead to change the font style and same as before i'll change the background from white to black and then i need to change the text from black to white and then i'm also going to reduce the line spacing as well as the letter spacing now i'm going to go ahead to duplicate this page and then in this text box i'm going to now go back to the quotes i'm going to copy the next section come back over to canva i'm going to delete this one and then paste this so now we have another scene and now for the last one i'll do the same thing i'll go ahead to duplicate this page as well and then i'm going to come back over to the quotes and then i'm going to copy the last section come on back over to canva delete what's already there and paste this one in so from here what i need to do now is start adding in my motion graphic so it's the same process you need to think what it is that you would want in your scene so in my case i want this to be a motivational quote about working out improving yourself in that sense so what i would want is some sort of person so i'll go on over to elements i'm going to do a quick search for stick person then just as before i'm going to go into the adjustment settings and click click animated and then i'm going to see the options it's given us by clicking graphics and now i could see a bunch of different options i could use and to my benefit there's a bunch of different improvement ones that'll be perfect for my case scenario so now from here i should begin just simply adding these into the graphic and creating the graphic i would want to create right wrong because what a lot of these viral quality motion graphics have is a voiceover to be precise a very aesthetically pleasing to the air's voiceover so we need to generate one of those before 
before we can go ahead to actually create the precise scenes. In order to do this, it's super simple. You do not even need to voice record it yourself. Instead, what we're going to do is come on over to 11 Labs. You could find the link in the description. And then once on 11 Labs, you want to click onto the speech section here. And then in this section, you want to ensure you have text to speech selected. Go on over to where I have my quote. I'm going to copy it. Come back over to 11 Labs and simply paste it in. And then once you have your quote pasted in, the next thing you need to do is select the voice that you want to speak in your voiceover. So in order to do this, you want to go ahead to click this arrow here. And then you want to search for all the voices that it's given to you. Play them, listen to them to see what they sound like. And then select the one that you think will work best for you. So I've gone ahead to select this voice called Thomas. And then after you have your voice selected, if you want, you could further edit your voice by clicking where it says voice settings and then editing these lines. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can. And now once that's done, all I need to do now is click generate. And in a couple seconds, my voiceover is done. So now let's take a listen to see what this sounds like. Each day is a new opportunity to improve yourself. It's calm, it's collective. I think it will work perfect for just this aesthetic vibe that these quotes tend to give off. So once you have your voiceover ready, all you'd want to do is simply download it. Now once it's downloaded, you'd want to come on back over to Canva. You'd want to come on over to this upload section here. And then you'd want to click where it says upload files. And then you'd select this voiceover that you just downloaded from 11 Labs. And now once the audio has been uploaded in, what you'd want to do is ensure your play button is at the beginning of your video. Then you'd simply want to click onto it. So now from here, you know how long your audio is you can now know how long to adjust all of your clips to make them fit within the audio now you can begin adding the motion graphics into your actual video so in order to do this let's go back on over to elements so i'll simply click onto this first one and then just add it into this section over here but from here what i want to do is show multiple different actions happening for the same text so what i am going to do is now that i've had this added in i'm simply going to click onto it and duplicate this page and now from here what i'm going to do is listen to the audio to see where i don't want to stop it to create the next scene so after he says each day i want to cut it to now add in this new one so let's take a listen each day is that's it, each day. So I'm simply going to reduce this one to the length of each. What I'm going to do is now simply take another animated icon and add it in. So for example, this one, the push-ups one. Then I'm simply going to click the previous one and delete it. Now you can see I have two different actions happening and I can continue doing it for the next section. So now that I'm done, I've added in all the different graphics into my scene. It's already a bit more advanced than the other one. From here, I can go ahead to edit it further just as I did with the other one by adding in some more items to the background. So that's texture, Lows, gradients, whatever I think would look good into it. And then same as before, I can go ahead to add the at of my page at the bottom. And now I've added in the text, I've added in my page, I've added in the graphics. So the next thing I want to do is further animate the actual graphics that's on the page. What I mean by that is simply click onto your first page and then click onto the graphic, for example, this one, and then click here where it says animate. And then what you can do is choose any of these animations, which will make you animate the animation even more. And then after I've animated the first one, I can go ahead to do the same for all of the posts. So now as you can see, I've added the animation breathe to all of the different texts so this is what it looks like but from here i could go to even further animate this by going between the page clicking add transition and then i'm going to go ahead to add in for example the line swipe and then i'm going to click apply between all pages and now the last thing I'd want to do is maybe change the boldness or different colors of different text to emphasize on different parts of this quote. And I'm done. So now let's take a look at what this one looks like. Each day is a new opportunity to improve yourself. Take it and make the most of it wasn't that easy wasn't that simple when you're done with this you need to download it so in order to download it you'll click where it says share and then you'll click download and then show an mp4 is selected you're simply going to click download and just like that both of the motion graphics that you easily created in canva will be downloaded to your computer and you can go ahead to post it on whichever social media platform that you prefer now that i showed you how to do this you can be even more creative with your own post you can create your own quotes you can be even more unique with your own motion graphics graphics for your own page so if this was something that you wanted to learn how to do or it's just something that you now learned how to do from this video go ahead to give it a try but wait 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 don't click off yet because if you want to learn more from me which you probably should then you need to check out this other video on my channel